Over 80% of our viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and you will never miss a video here on the channel. For Airbus, supply chain issues have been hampering their aircraft programs and wider manufacturing processes, but as it hasn't been central to say a specific aircraft or just a very much isolated issue, it maybe hasn't got as much airtime. But the reality is, it's an issue that is beginning to show its marks on the wider company. Since the pandemic, we've seen labor shortages, the war in Ukraine, among other crises, impact companies. And for Airbus, during the 2022 Farnborough Air Show, many questions sat around why the major European plane maker was not announcing as many orders as counterpart Boeing, who was seemingly having a clear run of things. Airbus commented that the sole focus was on insightful conversations to develop further and also improve supply chain matters, which prevented the European plane maker from reaching clear goals and operating at maximum efficiency. However, per discussions from the chief executive, it would appear that the ongoing supply chain crisis is only continuing and is not in a position where drastic improvements will be felt anytime soon. While the picture he said remains clearer, it doesn't mean that it is in a state where it can easily achieve certain goals that say the company may be shooting for, namely their 2022 delivery goal. Each year, if you were unaware, an aircraft manufacturer will set some key goals for the business. One of the most talked about though in terms of the industry is that of deliveries. For Airbus, they were unable to reach their target for 2022, falling short. They cited the increasingly challenging climate as one of the contributing factors to why they missed this goal. The conflict in Ukraine has presented new supply chain problems and a general state of living issue at this point, impacting billions. It means that while aircraft manufacturers worked with their supply chain lines to maneuver pandemic-related difficulties, these processes, which were proven to work, were not enough to overcome problems related to the Ukraine conflict. Airbus is forecasting another challenging half-year, but they aren't predicting it to get any worse. When speaking with reporters, we learned that they won't see likely any new challenges, but rather more of the same that has always proven difficult for them and will continue to do so. How important though are supply chains to businesses? Of course, in this case, Airbus, well, it's absolutely critical. Without a fully functioning supply chain, the business in question will of course see difficulties presented, and as I briefly touched on earlier, it will mean that key results that they wish to obtain may not be possible. One that could be of a heightened focus, again, is that yearly delivery targets, as it is most likely the most publicly available information to us that we can digest and take a look at their results on a month-on-month -month basis. Supply chain issues, though, do not just impact Airbus, that is the reality. However, in recent times, they have certainly been more vocal about the problems hurting the business. And what are your thoughts? Do you think supply chain difficulties will worsen before they get better? Or will companies learn to adapt to unique circumstances, with challenges coming from different areas of the globe, from the pandemic to conflicts and to much more? We'd be very interested to hear your take. Of course, it's an ever-pressing concern in our aviation industry. And of course, if recent years have proven anything to us, it's a changing climate. And one night you can go to sleep and something catastrophic can happen while you're asleep and completely shift the industry and turn it on its head. Thank you very much for watching more analysis here on the channel. We greatly appreciate your support and hope you have been enjoying the new year. Take care and we will see you next time.